everybody, welcome back to Art a la carte. Today is day number seven of Mermaid. So we are finished with our first official week, which means we are ready for the first official vote. Now, for those of you who don't understand what's going on, Mermaid is a fun art challenge that every day in the month of May, you produce and post a piece of artwork related to mermaids. I decided that for Mermaid this year, um, not only would I produce a picture for every single day, but I wanted to create them in a way that it creates a story. But for some added fun, I thought it would be a good challenge to let you guys vote on which picture from the previous week you would like to see rendered into full color. So if you've checked out all of the pictures, which one of the days you actually got two pictures. So there's actually eight pictures out there right now. And only if you watch the YouTube videos will you see that extra bonus picture. If you're watching and or following me on Instagram, you're only going to have seen the seven pictures. So if you missed out on the bonus picture, you might want to watch through all the different mermaid videos to find it and let you guys vote. And then I will color that picture. That'd be great fun. So in other news, I thought I would discuss uh, a comment or s threads of comments that kind of are in some of the videos, which by the way, the comments of these mermaid videos are absolutely hilarious and fun to read. So if you like, if you enjoy reading comments, I just suggest reading some of the comments because some of them are so funny. Um, but one of the comments that I've gotten a couple of times is, do I know what the story is? Do I know how it's going to end? Um, as I said in the very first video in day one of Mermaid, the challenge for me was to get this out there, to move to the finalized step of actually producing the story. I get stuck in writing and rewriting and reworking the script and character design and storyboarding, and I never move past that. So for this challenge, I don't know how smart it is, I decided not to rework and rewrite and rework the character. I was just going to skip all of that and jump right into the final pieces. So going into this, I have an idea of what I want the characters to look like, but I haven't finalized it. And I have, and I know what the story is. I know what's going to happen. I just skipped the part where I actually wrote it down and kind of worked out of the plot holes. It's very easy for me to invest emotions and ideas and thoughts and backstories to all the different characters. And though that makes a richer and fuller story, when you are wanting to produce an actual story, you have to, you may know all of the history and the legend and the lore and the feels and all that, but each element may not progress the story that you're trying to tell, the, the section of the story that you're trying to tell forward. So as a writer, as you write your story out, you have to go back and reanalyze each part. Is this piece important? If I take this piece out of the story, does it take away from the overall goal that I'm trying to reach or does it add to it? Can I convey the message without it or with it? If it's information that isn't needed to propel the story forward, then a lot of times authors will cut that part out. They'll edit it out. Um, so I haven't done that part and I'm going, you know, I, I don't need to convey that part, especially watching the response from you. There'll be things that I'll put into the pictures and you guys will just feed into it. That's a bigger part of the story than what it is, which is a great learning curve for me. I'm realizing, oh, if I put a focus on that, then that element character thing is you're expecting it to have a bigger part. Like the turtle. The turtle was just scenery, but a lot of you really were hoping that that would be a character. So for those of you who have been wondering and worrying if I actually know where the story is going, um, yes I do. I have, I have the whole story in my head. I know the progression of events and hopefully I'll be able to convey it well in the illustrations to come. So if you're enjoying this, make sure to be a subscriber to this channel so that you don't miss out on the rest of the story. And if you've seen all the videos from last week, make sure to vote which one you would like to see. And I'll have a link to where you can vote in the description box below. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me and until tomorrow, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.